If you're a ham starting in DMR or you're just interested in the mode, you probably have many questions. There's a lot of information out there on DMR and a lot of it can seem confusing. To help with this, we've put together a list of commonly asked questions for beginners in DMR. Hi, I'm Tanner with BridgeCom Systems. In today's video, we'll share with you our top five most frequently asked questions about DMR. How is DMR digital radio different from analog? DMR works a little differently from analog radio. For most of you watching this, it's probably the mode of radio you've already used. Analog technology itself is pretty simple. Your transmitter will send out your radio signal and your receiver will then capture the incoming transmission. Now, DMR on the other hand works by first decoding and compressing the signal into digital information. This process of channeling the signal is what enables DMR radio to avoid sound quality issues. DMR has many other improvements including voice quality, functionality, security, and channel efficiency. If you'd like to watch more in-depth videos on DMR, we've linked to a playlist below. Do you need the internet to use a DMR radio? The short answer is no. As we explained in the previous question, digital radio relates to how signals used to send information are digital. So if you are within a range of a DMR repeater or simplex range of another DMR radio, you can still use DMR without the internet. However, digital radios and systems can connect via the internet. This power is the real draw to digital radio. Networking radio systems together via the internet allows you and your friends to communicate from wherever you're located. Are there different modes other than DMR? The answer is yes. There are many different modes, but the most popular modes used are DMR, D-Star, and YSF. DMR, as many of you know, stands for Digital Mobile Radio. DMR was created by the European Telecommunication Standards Institute, also known as ETSI, to create an open standard. This mode allows for interoperability, enabling users like you and me to connect without being limited to one single system. DSTAR stands for Digital Smart Technologies for Amateur Radio. This open standard digital communication protocol was established by the Japanese Amateur Radio League, or JARL. And YSF, or Yesu System Fusion, combines digital and conventional FN communication into a single multiple function system. What is a DMR ID, and how is it different from my ham license? A radio ID is a unique identification number assigned to you and your radio call sign. It's not another call sign you have to remember as you do with your standard ham call sign. Your ID works just like any digital ID number. Your radio ID identifies you as a unique radio user on the DMR networks like Brandmeister, TGIF, and many others. As opposed to a call sign which you'll get after passing your ham license test, this identifier just requires you to fill in some information on radioid.net. What is the best radio to get started with in DMR? This is the question most hams ask once they've learned the full potential of DMR radio. There are a lot of different radios out there that work on DMR or digital radio. However, we recommend only one radio package and that is our plug and play package. And this ready to use bundle comes at AnyTone 878 Plus and the Skybridge Plus digital hotspot. You'll also have access to our easy to follow tutorial videos with our exclusive BridgeCom University course, enabling you to grow your radio know-how. In a matter of days, you'll be able to call yourself a DMR expert. Every ham's journey into DMR is slightly different, but your transition into DMR will be a bit easier if you can answer these questions. If you're looking to begin your DMR journey today, click below to order our plug and play package. Thanks again for watching, and as always, 7-3.